Mania-like CD player. A and D D P 9000. 158,000 yen. The design and functions, including the remote control, are exactly the same as the DP-7000, but the structure is completely different. Actual weight, 12.3 kilograms. The wood side panels are 18 millimeters thick and weigh 275 g each. The top plate is a 3.2 millimeters thick copper plated iron plate and weighs 3 kilograms. Both sides and the bottom plate are made of integrated U-shaped aluminum die casting, and have a surprisingly complex shape, with a thickness of 6 mm on both sides. Additionally, there are six pillars made of aluminum that stand from the bottom plate, and the top plate is screwed to these pillars. A truly strong structure. The legs are made of ceramic and aluminum and weigh 120 g. The mechanism, base, and tray are die cast. Inside, on the right side, there is a large shield case made of copper plated iron on both sides. Both the board and parts are of good quality. The clamp disc stabilizer is a perforated disc the same size as a CD and holds the disc firmly in place. The opening and closing of the tray is very elaborate. It uses a complex mechanism with two motors and a four-stage belt drive, aiming for smooth operation that does not cause shock to the disc. Both power transformers come in shielded cases, and the case size for the digital version is 72 by 62 by 57 mm. The analog version is Phi 74 times 60 mm. Both the board and parts are of good quality. The AC cable is a Phi 7.5 OFC cab tire. The plug is also wide and sturdy. The output is simple, with one analog output and one coaxial and optical digital output. For X oversampling 18-bit precision digital filter type that shifts 2 bits at low level 2 DAC. The unnecessary radiation in photo 1 is a little high. 2 is 1 kHz to 70 dB playback. The signal-to-noise ratio is good, but there is some hum. However, at this level it can be completely ignored. Rather, it is proof of the strength of the power source. The trend is the same for 3 to 90 dB, but 1 kHz itself comes out about 5 dB higher. The sound has something in common with the 7000, but the low end is massive and rich and doesn't budge. It has a pyramid-shaped sense of stability, has little distortion, and has a fine grain and good texture. Both sound quality and sound field are thicker than the 7000, and the scale is larger. The sound image comes out a little thicker than the 7000, but maybe this is more natural. Compared to 7000, it is more suitable for classical music and adults. Both the cabinet and the legs of this player are extremely strong, so you can use it like a maniac, such as using a stabilizer on the top plate. In that sense, it can be said to be suitable for enthusiasts. This is the highest quality CD player representing the new A&D. Judging by the weight of the product when you take it out of the package, you can feel that it is a product with a lot of content. This weight is made possible by the aluminum diecast chassis with a highly rigid design that extends to the side panels, the comprehensive power supply section that separates the digital and analog sections and even changes the type of transformer, and the aluminum diecast mechanism section. It comes from making. The power supply part is separated from the digital and analog parts to avoid mutual interference, and the analog part uses a toroidal transformer, which is further separated by a shield case made of copper-plated steel. The DA converter uses a 4x oversampling 18-bit precision digital filter and has an independent LR configuration. The design eliminates phase differences and provides clear sound image localization and a rich sound field feel. 
The output amplifier is also a discrete DC amp with a DC servo and no coupling capacitors. Other features include a large disc-sized clamper and a unique A servo system that achieves skillful and stable operation, all in pursuit of sound quality. In addition to variable and fixed analog outputs, it also has coaxial electrical and optical digital outputs. The display is full screen, and the on-off function shows careful attention to detail in order to ensure sound quality. The functions are sufficiently diverse. You can already feel the sense of luxury from the silent opening and closing of the tray. The thick and heavy sound has plenty of room even for full orchestral fortissimo. The organ sounds deep and melodious, making it attractive. The fusion rhythm is strong and has a good push. Coaxial output produces a solid sound, while optical output produces a thick and extended sound.